Hey what's up guys, I'm back with a brand new video and it's time to do a battery charging test between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Infinix Note 12 and the Infinix Note 12 as well as the A23 and both phones has a 5000 mAh battery size. We have a 33 watt fast charging with the Infinix Note 12 while with the A23 we have a 25 watt fast charging support but with the A23 we have a 15 watt fast charger in the box while with the Infinix Note 12 we have a 33 watt fast charger and the back on both phones is made up of plastic and the frame also is made up of plastic on the back we have a quad cameras versus a triple cameras we have 50 megapixel main f1.6 aperture main camera versus a 50 megapixel with optical image stabilization main camera also we have 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor while on the Infinix we have a 2 megapixel macro and a AI lens no ultra wide so in this video I'm going to show you how much time is required to fully charge these two devices from 0% to 100% and right now and the battery percentage on the Infinix Note 12 it is very very low and you can see while on the Samsung 823 we have 1% battery also on the bottom we have USB Type-C on both phones also we have single speaker versus a dual speakers also the processor on the Infinix Note 12 is a Helio G96 while on the A23 we have a Snapdragon 680 so let's see who is more faster in terms of the battery charging wise I would say first let me show you the charger and the cable that you are getting with these two devices so here is the box of the A23 here is the box of the Infinix Note 12 so now let's open this box and let me show the charger of the Infinix Note 12 which I will be using in this video for the Infinix Note 12 so you can see in the box we have charger and guys you can see that and this is a 33 watt fast charger also we have cable and you can see which is a USB type C to USB A cable so that's really good thing now let's look at the A23 charger and cable and guys here is the A23 box so when you open the box and uh, we have our charger and you can see and guys and this is a 15 watt adapter and you can see note a 25 watt also we have USB type C to USB A cable so in this video I will be using the 25 watt adapter which I have, I have right there and you can see and guys and this is a 25 watt adapter which I will be using with the A23 in this video because this phone is maximum support 25 watt so let's see how is a 25 watt is stack up against the 33 watt one thing it is also really important is that and the battery charging speed will be depend on your environment temperature as well as your phone temperature right now and the temperature in this room it is about 30 degrees celsius so if you are charging this phone in high temperature and the result will be different so now let's quickly start the test here is our switch port and the power source it is also on so first now let's insert the charger like this now let's insert the infinix no 12 charger also now let's calculate the time on the iphone 12 pro now let's opening up the clock and now let's go to the stopwatch and guys now let's insert the cable into the infinix no 12 first and now let's insert the cable into the a23 as well again and the power source it is on and i also turn on the stopwatch as well and you can see we have a charging indicator on the Infinix Note 12 and one thing it is also really important is that and the 25 watt on the A23 is only work when the phone is on so now let's quickly boot this phone up both phones is on 1% so now let's quickly boot the Infinix Note 12 as well to make that to make the test more fair and also we have Android 12 on both phones we have XOS version 10 versus a Samsung One UI version 4.1 somehow and the 25 watt on the samsung is not working i don't know why i think with the july update they disable the 25 watt fast charging but before 25 watt is working on this phone but you can see i am using the 25 watt but it says only fast charging so you can see everything it is off on both phones no wi-fi no bluetooth no location on on both phones also who does not have any sim card on both phones as well so now i will be back after 15 minutes now let's see that how much both phones is charged in the 15 minutes of battery charging so now i will see you at 15 minutes okay guys i'm back after 15 minutes of battery charging so now let's see the battery percentage so 
on the Infinix Note 12 we have a 23% battery in 15 minutes while on the Samsung we have 19% and you can see this phone is charged 19% in 15 minutes while the Infinix Note 12 is charged 23% in 15 minutes so now I will see you at half hour exact 30 minutes now let's see that how much these two devices is charged in the next 15 minutes so now I will see you at 30 minutes okay guys I'm back after 30 minutes so now let's see the battery percentage on both these devices first on the A23 so on the A23 we have a 38% battery while on the Infinix we have 44% battery so we have 44% battery is charged in the 30 minutes on the Infinix Note 12 while on the Samsung we have a 38% in the 30 minutes I wish that 25 watt is working on this phone so now I will see you at 45 minutes okay guys I'm back after 45 minutes of battery charging so now let's see the battery percentage on the Samsung so on the Samsung we have 58% battery while on the Infinix we have a 62% battery so we only have a 4% difference between these two devices so the 15 watt fast charging it is also really fast now I will see you at 1 hour and 60 minutes now let's see how much these two devices is charged in the next 15 minutes okay guys I'm back after 1 hour exact 60 minutes so now let's check out battery percentage on both these two devices so on the Samsung we have a 77% battery while on the Infinix we have a 78% battery so you can see we only have a 1% difference between these two devices so the Samsung is really really fast I would say with a 15 watt fast charger now I will see you at 1 hour and 15 minutes okay guys I'm back after 1 hour and 15 minutes of battery charging so now let's see battery percentage on both these two devices first on the Samsung so on the Samsung we have 93% battery so this phone is charged 93% in 90 minutes of battery charging while the Infinix it is at 90% so you can see so the A23 is beat the Infinix Note 12 in terms of the battery charging wise overall so now I will see you one of these devices is hit 100% fully charged so now I will see you at 100% most likely A23 is gonna hit 100% first okay guys I'm back and my Samsung Galaxy A23 is hit 100% fully charged in 1 hour and 27 minutes so you can see and the Samsung A23 is really fast in terms of the battery charging wise as compared to the Infinix Note 12 while on the Infinix we have a 96% battery so now I will see you why my Infinix Note 12 is also hit 100% fully charged okay guys I'm back and the Infinix Note 12 is also hit 100% fully charged in 1 hour and 39 minutes and you can see and the difference between the A23 and the Infinix Note 12 is huge and the A23 is hit 100% fully charged in 1 hour and 27 minutes and you can see so guys over up to say regarding the battery charging speed in the start Infinix Note 12 is more faster as compared to the A23 but you can see at the end of this A23 is way faster as compared to the Infinix Note 12 we have a 12 minutes difference between these two devices so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this battery charging test between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Infinix Note 12 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out